Hello all and welcome, Manacaster here, and today we are in Gold Rush. Um, I debated not uh, doing YouTube videos on Gold Rush just because there's so many of them out there, and it just it seems like it, you know oversaturation. But at the same time, this is a game I enjoy playing, and I figure why not? You know, if uh, people enjoy like seeing uh, the videos, and I enjoy playing the game, might as well. Put some videos up about Gold Rush. I have been having a lot of fun in this game. I debated... It, the whole idea was I wanted to start and make sure that I like the game and kind of get an idea, get a feel for it. And then if I liked it and I decided I wanted to stream it, I would just start over from the beginning. But then it's obvious to me that on YouTube there are so many videos about the beginning of this game. It just kind of seemed like it would be redundant. So, I'll tell you where I'm at right now. We have got our claim, the standard claim that you start with. We have gone and we have dug over here with the, you know, the little starter thing. We did our panning first and then, you know, we bought this thing, and water pump and this, that and the other thing. I dug out a lot right over here next to, you know, where you put it in the, in the thing for sorting or, you know, mining the gold. Uh, and then I found out later that this is where the least amount of gold is over here. But I dug it all out anyways, and I processed it. And I've been able to build what I've got going here as a mining operation uh, with no debt. I have taken out, you know, I paid off the uh, original loan and everything. I didn't take out any other loans. So... I just moved some things over there, like the uh, wash table and things like that. I bought the fuel trailer. I've got uh, one water pump all the way. It's bringing water all the way from over there, which kind of surprised me. I got an extra hose there. Yeah, I know. Uh, I need to organize a little better. <laughs> I've got one, uh, one water pump there and one over there, because I know I'm going to need it once I start going further out, or I believe. I'm not 100% I'm not sure on how that works. We'll see. Uh, I've got the wash table here, a generator here, and I've started digging out over here. I got the mobile wash plant. Uh, I bought the, right off the bat, I bought the bigger excavator because I knew it was going to need it. So I didn't, I figured I wouldn't bother with buying the little guy and then, you know, it just kind of seemed like it was going to be a waste of money. So I spent extra time mining over there in the uh, area where you start out with. To be able to afford this kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing. And then I've dug out this area. Uh, obviously right now I have zero ounces. But I have $85,000. And I am completely debt free. I have no loans whatsoever. And that's that's the whole idea. I'm going to try to do this without taking out loans. Which means there's going to be quite a bit of grinding. But from what I understand. That is probably one of the most enjoyable parts of this game. Is the grinding. And when I, t when I play games, I tend not to, uh, games where you have to take out loans and things like that, I, I tend not to use the loans. I do that in real life, and I, I do that in game, too. I hate loans. I hate interest. I hate owing. So that's basically how we're going to tackle this. From here on, we're going to start building, or, we're, you know, obviously, we're going to grind here, try to build up enough gold to start buying the parts and pieces that we need up here without taking a bank loan. And with that being said, it's time to grind. And I'm not going to make you guys sit through the whole grind or everything. This is going to be kind of a, a highlight. So you're going to, I'm going to spend a ton of time in the excavator and a ton of time cleaning. And I'm going to show some of it, but obviously not all of it because it's going to be hours and hours of doing so. I use the keyboard to move around the map and from, you know, to do the grunt work around here and whatnot, but I do use a controller when I'm in the excavator or in the truck. Uh, it just works better for me that way. It, just more fluid. I prefer it. With that being said, let's get to work and start mining some gold. So first off, we've got, well, we got to go over here. Got to turn on the water pump and the generator. We don't need that on right now. Uh, 
And that bucket is, yep, empty. So we're good to go here. And we're just going to excavate. So here we go. I tend to prefer this view when excavating, especially when you get into the, the deeper holes, just really start getting down in there. It's hard to keep sight of it from in cab or from the uh, third person view of the excavator. So we're just going to keep processing this stuff through the mobile wash plant. And the whole idea is to try to get some money for the drill. So we can kind of, you know, get a idea, prospect for where the gold, where the gold is. For me, it was all about building a rhythm, trying to get this excavator figured out. It's tough when you are just looking at this this one camera, you know, this this one view. But you kind of judge by that hose, that hydraulic hose that bends. Kind of tells you where you're at. That helps. And then you just start a rhythm, and because you, you're gonna do this for hours on end when you're grinding through this part of the game. Just hope that you're getting decent gold. Because, yeah, we don't have the drill yet, but that's the whole point. Is I'd like to get the drill and kind of just get a plot of the land. Um, if, if you're not familiar with this game, that's one of the pieces of equipment you can get. You're kind of digging blind, uh, hoping, you know... Uh, wing and a prayer that you're getting good gold you're not 100% sure but with the drill uh, it gives you an idea of what's under the ground you know the auger goes down and it drills and it tells you where the gold is at different depths and different levels uh, right here we're starting out at the very front of the cut so I highly doubt there's great gold here but it worked out for me as far as you know not being able to afford you know all the hoses to be able to run it all the way out you know into the middle of the cut over there or something now i myself haven't done a lot of research on this game i mean i've i've saw it and i was like oh that looks like fun and i thought i'd want to play it but i haven't done a lot of research on youtube i haven't watched a lot of videos on it so i could be doing something completely wrong I could be uh, really screwing myself over or something. But if so, you know, let me know in the comments. If you have any tips or tricks, uh, let me know. I don't, you know, obviously want to cheat or anything like that. But uh, I'm sure there's something somewhere that I'm missing or that I'm doing wrong. And I gladly welcome the criticism. Constructive criticism uh, is always good. That's how, you know, it's always how, it's how you learn. That's how you make better choices, how you learn to do things. It's constructive criticism can go a long long way so I'm always open to that as I screw this up I'm always open to that and uh, it's definitely appreciated okay so that bucket's full on the mobile wash plant you see 100% there so what we're gonna do is just gonna fill up a couple of buckets here so we got that one we're just gonna set it off to the side and fill up a few buckets while everything's running it doesn't make sense to me to shut everything down and then go process it for one bucket so you know maybe fill up four buckets if not more I got some more buckets over there so that's what we're gonna do one reason I keep money instead of ounces uh, I go ahead and smelt whatever I you know whatever I can during the day uh, is because when old man Arnold takes his cut, he takes it in cash, it seems like, and you can easily end up in debt. So then when you go get to, when you go try to get the uh, gold smelted, you won't have enough money because you'll be in debt. You'll be minus a certain amount because old man Arnold's got to take his cut, right? So what I do is try to keep it in money and then that way, uh, he takes his cut and then I'm not in debt so then when I go to smelt whatever I have next it's I won't have to go take a loan to get it smelted or sell the ore which is seems like kind of a not not as good of a deal as uh, you know smelting the gold selling the ore outright seems to be you don't get as good of a deal as uh, smelting and then selling it to the bank 
So that's why I always keep the money rather than the ounces. But we're getting some ounces here. And we're getting close to, I mean, it's getting dark. But that's why we've got the money in the bank there. Ready to go to pay him his cut without me worrying about going in debt. Having to take a loan out just to get the thing smelted or sell the ore. See what I did there? Or, or. Oh, so close. We're at 99. I'm going to go ahead and take it. That bucket, set it there. Bucket number two, come on. Actually, I wonder, should we go to sleep? I mean, I don't know. things got lights. Let's keep working. It's got lights on it. So that's what lights are for. And I realize this area is probably like the worst part on the claim to be mining right now, but it's, we're looking ahead to the future. You know, we kind of clear out this little area here close to the plant and work our way back. Once we start getting equipment that's going to make transporting back and forth a lot easier. So the idea of it is just to kind of work our way. Yeah. I mean, if we make this cut here and slowly work our way through, I don't know. I could be totally wrong in that thinking, but that's what I'm going with. I'm doubling down on it. So much of this is just digging. And I, I, I kind of like that. Because, I mean, I've been sitting here digging for about maybe an hour now. And I feel like that's, you know, that's the way it is. That's the way it's going to be. If a game was to make it all simplified and like, oh, you just dig two scoops and then you get... 100 ounces, then that wouldn't be a staying game. That wouldn't be a game I would come back to. Uh, you have to. I, I do like games where you grind. You just you earn what you get. I really like that. I feel like this is one of those games that where the grind is the fun part. You know, you, you're, you're shooting for that goal. You're, you, you're trying to get to that next thing, your next thing, and then. Then once you get everything, then... But there's other parcels. Uh, I understand there's, what, like, three, four more parcels or something? And I'm not familiar with the TV show. If this is, like, the TV show, I, I've seen one or two episodes, and I don't know. I just, I, I don't watch TV. It's just not, not a thing I do. So I'm curious if this is... I mean, I guess they wouldn't show on TV digging for an hour straight. But I'm curious uh, how this lines up to the TV show. I guess I should make it known that I don't have anything against TV. It's just I get really bored and antsy watching TV shows and commercials. Oh, my fuel is low. My fuel is low. Good thing we have that trailer. We're at 60, so that's going to process, so that's going to go up. We're getting close. This is our fourth bucket that we're working on. Fourth plastic bucket down there. Okay, see there we got the uh, old man Arnold got his cut, so we lost some money. But we're not going into crazy amounts of debt because we just keep that money in our pockets and that helps with that situation we won't have to take out a loan to smelt any gold today that's that's the whole point of me doing that just avoid loans avoid loans avoid interest rates avoid anything because I mean we're paying a percentage to old man Arnold that already bothers me so it makes me want to be able to get to the point where I can just buy a claim my own claim and not have to worry about 
giving percentages or anything. I don't know. Maybe that's greedy. It just seems smart to me. I don't know. 99%? That's good enough for me. Let's hop out. Go grab that bucket. Not fall in the big old hole. Go check our fuel level on you guys. Sit right there. Okay. Check our fuel level on our generator and our water pump. Yeah, we're getting a little low on the uh, generator. Water pump's not too bad. Pretty efficient water pump. Go ahead and fill them up while we're here. All right, so I decided to go get some sleep. Uh, it was just getting too dark. I know I can get those. I've got one of those uh, power lights right there uh, it's to bring over there, but it's just easier to work in the day. And I'm sure my guy and uh, you know enjoyed the enjoyed the R and R. Oh come on! And we're gonna be back at it. I grabbed a few more buckets. We'll see how many we get filled. These are the filled ones. These guys are just empty here. And you are running, so we are good to go to continue digging. I'm gonna have to get creative in how I dig, cause see, I'm I'm just going as far as the arm reaches. So it's a big lazy left here. And then I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to spin around. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there. I should be planning ahead for that though, if I wanna be smart about it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Uh, how about that Super Bowl, huh? I actually don't know how it uh, it came out because I'm recording this Friday night before the Super Bowl and I know I'm not going to get a chance to edit anytime this week. Um, the band I play in, we're playing a big show uh, tomorrow and then, which is Saturday, pre day before the Super Bowl and then uh, the day following. Uh, I'm going to be lazy, sit around, and watch the Super Bowl. So I probably won't even be editing this uh, until Monday. Probably get it out Monday evening. So, yeah, how about that Super Bowl? How about that winning team, eh? They played good football. Eh? I mean, it's going to be the Eagles or the Patriots, so I could edit, I could edit one, you know, just cut a whole, how about those Patriots? And then uh, another, how about those Eagles? I don't really care either way. To me, it's, uh, my team isn't in it, so, I mean, I still watch, obviously. Just hope it's a good game. I think what I might do now that I've started to kind of paint myself into a corner, I'm coming all the way around here is I might back the excavator up a little bit and then over that way a little bit and then try to start clearing all this right here because you can see the natural slope of the land and as I clear more of this out, I mean, because I'll probably do a cut up here later on and to be able to get access down in through here you know just clear all this all this dirt again I'm no expert on this if you guys have any good ideas let me know because it's gonna take a while but I think what I'm gonna do is start working on this stuff here uh, while I've got the plant right there so yeah that's what we'll do oh we're out of fuel not a problem. That's why it's, it's nice to have that that uh, fuel trailer. There we go. Easy, easy, and we're stuck. Yes, perfect. And that is a. <laughs> Apparently, the fuel hose is dancing and the wheel is spinning. This is like a disco over here. Here we go. Is that what the kids call it? Disco? A disco? 
But that seems accurate to me. That seems accurate. 53% and now we're getting down to 51. Now we're at 50% and the thing's not even full yet. That seems accurate to me. It seems like something like this would have a huge ass gas tank. Diesel tank, probably. I don't know. I don't know that much about that stuff. Tank is fully refilled. Perfect. Okay, we can stop this disco dance. <laughs> disco. Uh, I don't know why I said that. All right, there we go. Uh, you're still going, aren't you, buddy? Good deal. I guess I could hide the controls. Now that I know how to do the differential lock. Hey, I don't want to jackknife the trailer. I don't know if that's a thing. If you can jackknife the trailer and like damage it or disconnect it or something, and then it goes falling into the hole. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to disable differential lock. Because in real life, I would think... I mean, it's not good to drive with those on all the time anyways. And I think it hurts your gas mileage or something? I don't know. I don't know much about four-wheel drive. You know what? I'm not going to be fancy about it. I'm just going to disconnect the thing here. Oh, I should have shut those off, shouldn't I? Because I know I'm going to need this. Well, I'm probably going to take it into town and refill it before too long. All right. Get off there. And let's get back to work. Although, speaking about the disco thing, my wife is from Norway. And she says she's gone back there to visit. She says discos are like a big thing there. Like American-style disco. Anybody from Norway? Is that true? Or is she messing with me? She could be. I mean, I almost think it, would be, it could be a big thing here. You know, everything comes back around again. Is it time for more discos? I mean, it seems like it, it would be fun. Like if you had copious amounts of cocaine or something, it'd be a blast. Not that I can say I've experienced in the cocaine department, but I would think those two would go go pretty well together. All right, you can see I pretty much worked my way down to bedrock as far as this hole goes. Uh, it's just a matter of working the sides a little bit and whatnot, but. I think we're good there. Actually, let me go in and shut the engine off. Don't want to waste fuel. And I know I told you guys, what, four buckets? Get four buckets done. Uh, got a little surprise for you here. You probably saw them building. We did ten. There's nine right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the tenth just filled. So we're going to take these ten buckets. And we're going to clean them out and see what we got. For the time being, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the generator and the water pump because it's going to take a while to get 10 buckets. Uh, that's the opposite of off. Okay. It's going to take a while to get 10 buckets up here to the shake table to process. We're going to see how many ounces we get out of 10 buckets. 10 full buckets of petered. Let's hope this pans out. Uh, uh, you see what I did there? Yeah, it was bad. Look at that. Look at the hole we made. I mean, that's, uh, granted, two, two and a half hours of digging to get the ten buckets. Oh, obviously there was a hole here before, but man. That's, uh... But see, here's the whole idea I'm thinking. is like slowly work this dirt down to be able to get down it in here. You know, and excavate from there. I don't know. We'll see. Again, we'll see. We'll see how it works. I mean, because I think with bulldozers and the, the dump trucks and stuff, that would be a good way to go about it. You know, get down in there and work your way around. Again, we'll see. I, I, I am clueless when it comes to mining gold. I know the dig tube thing is like a good resource. Uh, they, they keep reminding me of it every time I launch the game, but I kind of want to do this, like figuring it out on my own i don't want to you know just have the thing tell me what to do and then i just do it that, to me that's not enjoying the game i'd like to like to figure it out on my own and and figure it out at the same time you guys are seeing it instead of oh yeah this is how you do this and this this and you do this and then it's done okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten full buckets of pay dirt let's fire these guys back up We're starting zero ounces. Turn this wave table on. There we go. 
Let's see what we get. Now again, I have no I have no idea how good this dirt is. Uh, you know, the pay in this dirt. Until we get the drill. Oh, three ounces, four ounces. Come on, four ounces. Five ounces. Should I be dumping these on before the thing tells me it's done processing? That's a... I wonder about that. We'll see. I, I'm just going to wait until it tells me it's done processing. I want to overload it. Ten ounces. You know, I think we're going to be able to afford that drill soon. There we go. Wavetable is finished processing the soil. 13.9 divided by 2. Is that... Uh, did, or did I overload it or does it cancel it out? I don't know. We'll just go one by one and wait till it tells us it's done. That's probably the smart way to go about it. So that would have been what? Averaging around just under seven per bucket. And I wasn't paying attention what this started at. Twenty ounces. Oh, that's so much gold. That's a lot of gold. And we still got many buckets to go. It's going to be a hell of a payday. It's going to be great. Twenty-one point seven. I'll be ready with the next one. And it's just climbing. Are we going to get to 30? Oh, just shy. <laughs> 30 ounces of gold. Oh, oh, oh. Don't run away. Come on. Thirty-six, thirty-seven. 38 my goodness I know for some of you that are probably deep into this game this is nothing but man this is exciting for me it took a while it took a while you want to see your hard labor pay off 45 ounces of gold Forty-seven. We made it to forty-seven. We've got four buckets to go. Fifty ounces of gold. Fifty. Three. Fifty. Four. Fifty-five ounces of gold. Sixty ounces of gold. Makes me want to go dig up my backyard. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not going to work. Are we going to get to 70 with this bucket? 67, 68, 69.7, 70 ounces of gold. And last bucket, the last one. Will we get to 80? Will we get to 80? Big question. Big money, big money, no whammies. I don't think we're going to get there. We're getting close. Ooh. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know what? We're getting 80. It doesn't matter. Come on. 
We're getting 80. Boop. ounces of gold who'd have thought I feel better I hope you feel better 80.191 ounces of gold let's go smelt this let's head into eh, let's not do that let's head into town smelt the gold and see how much we get out of it I might as well bring this and fill it back up uh, before I do that, I'm going to fill up my jerry cans, and I will see you in town. I figure we'll stop and get gas first. Save save the big payoff. I did get the DLC, the monstrous or whatever, the, the me, big, big, huge-ass, mega, awesome equipment, whatever, the, whatever it's called. All right, it's smelting time. Hello? Oh, there we go. 80.2 ounces is going to cost us $802. We're going to lose 7.22 ounces in the process, but part of the deal, melt the gold, 72.9 <laughs> ounces of gold. You stay back there. I don't know if in, in, in real life I would throw it in the back of a pickup. hell is that noise? Okay. Sell gold bars. $86,636. Let's, I mean, we can look at the stock, but really the stock, you, you look at where it's at. Okay, so the peak here is 1192, 1196. So it'd be like, what? 1192.75. And the current price is 1187.22. It's not a huge swing, although this graph looks like I'm selling at a bad time. It's not really a huge, huge difference, you know. So let's go ahead and sell them. We, I mean, we need it. We need to sell them. And now we have 146,854. I don't think that's enough to get the drill, but we can go check. Even though the, I mean, I'll continue to grind. Because I just don't want to take take a loan out. I don't want to end up there, you know, where you. Because old man Arnold's gonna be calling for his, coming around for his money, and uh, I just don't I just don't want to do that. Am I headed down a dead end? Is this gonna be? I mean, if I didn't have a trailer, I would have just spun it. Oh, okay, good deal, good deal. That would have that would have sucked a lot with a trailer trying to get out of there. So let's look at the. Drilling machine is $46,000. Uh, $146,000. I have $146,854. But I know from buying the uh, excavator, there's transportation fees. So we're close. We are very, very, very close. Hmm. I almost wonder we should just... You know, just go back, use the mobile wash plant, just do a little bit more, cover our costs, not get in trouble because it's late afternoon, evening. Uh, old man Arnold's going to become knocking. Uh, he's going to want his money. So I think what we'll do is for the next episode, we will grab the drill. We'll just run probably two, three more buckets, maybe four, depending on how much old man Arnold takes for his cut for the claim. And then we'll come back for the drill and drill us some stuff and find out where the gold is, find a gold streak, and then just mine the living crap out of it and just really try to, just really try to score big time. And we'll see what we'll do is we'll, we'll do that and then we'll get 10 buckets of uh, like a gold streak and see what that, because 10 buckets got us 10 and a quarter buckets got us 80 ounces. We'll see what 10 buckets on the gold 10 and a quarter ounces or 10 and a quarter buckets gets us on the gold. See if it's a big difference or not and see if, you know, we'll compare. So guys, I appreciate you watching. And until next time we will, we, next time we will get the drill. We will drill. We'll find the line and we'll do 10 and a quarter buckets and see how many ounces we get. And until then I appreciate it as always. And I'll see you next time.